Okay, here we have another M416 gel ball blaster. This is from the same brand. I've shown you a lot of AK-47s recently. The link is in the description and the brand name's in the title. Um, and it's on Amazon, of course. Just thought we'd talk about it briefly. It's pretty straightforward. We've seen this type of blaster many times now. Um, and I'm really just, I guess, showing it to you for the color variation and for the, you guys, so that you know it's out there. And of course, we'll do a demo and we'll test the FPS because that seems to be what's most important to most of you. So again, we've got a mechanical magazine. So remember, when you have that mechanical magazine, after you make your gel balls, make sure you prime it till you get a gel ball right at the top of the feed tube. Okay, and each time you refill, you're going to want to do that. So again, these will work. The mechanical mags are a lot better than they used to be. If you prime them, that's going to help with any feeding issues. So they still will work just fine. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bigger fan of motorized magazines, and I will always recommend if you can afford it to save up and get something with a motorized mag, I just think that's a better option in general. Okay, so M416, the battery's back here, obviously. It's that long cylinder battery. This one happens to be a 7.4 volt, uh, 500 mAh battery. It's the four pin connection, right? So the single connection. So you got your charger right here. You know, just plug that into an AC adapter. This give you 10,000 gel balls to start with gel beads. Make sure you know how to soak those properly. If you've never watched my videos, search my gel bead soaking video. That goes into it in depth. So instead of being redundant and telling you guys those about that every single video, go look for that one. Other than that, it's a very straightforward blaster, right? It's easy to put together. Really, the barrel just fits on the same way all of these do. There's a couple notches and grooves that line up. Same with the buffer tube. And when it comes to using it, you've got basically one button here. You're in safety. When you're in safety, you can shoot it single shot off the spring by pulling the charging handle. And then when you're in automatic, obviously you can shoot automatic. Grip here, scope. Again, those are just, the scope's really just for cosmetic purposes. Any type of magnification is negligible, if at all. Safety glasses, of course. Orange safety tip if you want to use that instead of the fake suppressor. And then kind of the plastic iron flip-up style sights. Okay, so pretty straightforward blaster. Let me know if you have questions. Um, I have a lot more in-depth videos on this exact same model, probably from this brand, definitely from other brands. And again, they're the same blasters, just different sellers, different designs occasionally. So comments, questions, post them below. Let me know what you think. Of course, like, make sure you're subscribed, and participate in those monthly contests I do. I love giving away the different custom blasters I build, and I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. And I plan on continuing to amp up those custom blasters so that you're going to get better, cooler models I haven't given away, especially in 2023. Thanks for the support. Check back for the demo with FPS test.